work out. I don't know if this going to work out, Lord. We'll slop you. Capo Chef was really good. Med Long was popping. The business was really good. Seven Souls was popping. Griffiths was popping. Zaza Zo was really good. Bob Bryant was popping. Jaron was populating, my bro. Yeah, man. I'm just chilling. Drinking my little iced coffee. Smoking this L. Watching juice. Getting sucked up into juice like I ain't see that shit a hundred times. You heard? Word is bought. But yeah, bro. What's really good out there, man? What's really good, man? New episode is dropping at four o'clock, man. You know I usually come on right before the episode drop. You know what I mean? Yeah, this call it a while. Ice coffee, call it a while. I already did that as soon as I hit that first hit. But yo, um, yeah, the new episode is dropping at 4 o'clock. I just felt like coming on live because I was bored and shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I wanted to see what up with the niggas. But I might be back on live before the episode drop because I got to take my daughter to tennis and shit. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to go back on live and shit before the episode drop. But um, that new episode is dropping today. You know what I mean, I got a new shit dropping. I got a new Saquon hopefully dropping tomorrow i gotta get on my job with that shit too i gotta i gotta finish editing that shit i'm bugging out actually you're i got new t-bone blast coming this week i got new l famous coming this week i got uh i got some shit coming my nigga i mean if i did it if we recorded an interview that shit is dropping you know what I mean? So, y'all ain't got to worry about it. If we did an interview, nigga, that shit coming out. No Vaseline, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate that donation. Shout out to all the dudes that been hitting up that cash app and sending them super chats. You feel what I'm saying? Them super chats be looking pretty when they pop up. Them shits mean money, baby. Yo, this movie is crazy, bro. Juice, that scene where that nigga Bishop just came calling that nigga to the window like nothing ain't ever happened. Nigga like, yo, Q. Hey, Q. Like, nah, nigga, you just killed our best friend. And we on, and we wanted for a motherfucking murder in the first degree. Nigga, I ain't fucking with you. Nigga calling that nigga to the window with the ratchet on him. That nigga crazy, bro. That nigga Tupac acted his ass off in juice. I'm going to keep it real with you. Nigga, after nigga seen juice, niggas was like, I ain't fucking with that nigga Pac. That nigga crazy, bro. Straight up, nigga was calling that nigga to the window in the movie theater. We went to go, oh, I got to tell that story. Oh, I got to tell that story, my nigga. I'm going to end up telling it on live and telling it as a story, bro. Real talk. I know uh, y'all do saying I should do one of my stories with my own format with the maps and shit like that. I've been thinking about doing that because y'all niggas just love seeing the maps while y'all hearing the story. So I might tell one of my stories with just audio with the maps and see how it come out and see how y'all niggas like that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I might. 
But man, I got a story about juice, bruh. That shit had niggas' heads fucked up. I gotta tell that story. And I keep forgetting about it. I gotta write that shit down. I gotta write that shit down, my nigga. Straight up. But tell a story how that juice shit had niggas so fucked up. A nigga that knew me from around my way in Brownsville, and he knew he knew me and my niggas was out there wilding out. And he wasn't from around my way. Ace Boogie, I appreciate that donation, bro. Appreciate that snow nation. This nigga fronted on me, son, on the train, son, because he was hyped off of juice. The nigga fronted on me on the train. And then had the nerve to come back to my projects after he did that. Ooh, wee. I got to tell that story. I still remember that nigga name. He know what it is. Nigga Bishop, nigga Pac had niggas going crazy, son. This nigga fronted on me on the train knowing that he got family in my project, son. In Queens. And then going to come back to my projects after he fronted on me on the train. Man, listen, bro. I, I'm ashamed of what happened after that. But nigga, is you crazy, nigga? Nigga tried to front on me on the train and then come to my projects. <laughs> that nigga out his motherfucking mind. Bishop got that. Tupac got that nigga fucked up. Tupac got a lot of niggas fucked up, my nigga. Pac got some niggas beat up, man. Yeah, I'm going to tell a real story, though. The whole shit, like, from start to finish on how that shit went down, my nigga. You heard? For real, man. My nigga Tracy, man. Shout out my nigga Trey Bag. Nah, bro, this ain't no gem pop. Where I ain't gonna lie, I fell off of my gem pop store. You know, it's not. It's no, no one man is an island, my nigga. That's all I got to say. It's no fun doing everything by yourself. You heard? But you, a lot of times, you gotta do everything by yourself. You know the expression: if you want something done, do it yourself. But I fell off with the gem pop store and all of that. I'm a clown because I'm just be moving, be moving units. But I be trying to do too much to juggle everything at one time, my nigga. And my money game is suspect. My shit ain't... Listen, I'm in New York. If I was living somewhere else making the money that I make off of YouTube, I'd be straight, Lord. If I was living in PA or NC or with the money that I make off of YouTube, I'd be straighter than 6 o'clock, nigga. But in New York City? Listen. New York City, nigga. This shit rough out here if you're not if you're trying to not live in the hood is what I'm saying. If you're trying to not live in the hood in New York City, my nigga, listen, bro. My bill game is horrendous. My bill game is horrendous, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real with you. All of the money that I make right now for YouTube, that shit all go to bills, my nigga. I don't make no excess play around money like that. No way. Not when you got kids like me. You can't even play around. You got to hold down money because you never know what's going to happen, nigga. You might have to come. Like my daughter just now, she just lost a phone that I just gave her. Our phone. She lost that shit. Know what I mean? You know she going to be stressed without a phone. I'm going to have to get her a motherfucking phone. That shit going to be another three, four $400. So, like I said, ain't no excess bread, nigga. I'm fighting the, the, the fight right now to get to the level when I'm making excess bread. You feel what I'm saying? Right now, nigga, this shit just covering bills and barely that, my nigga. Straight up. It's covering bills and not living in the ghetto. Now, I mean, not living in the super ghetto. Because I'm still not all the way out the ghetto. I'm in medium ghetto. You heard? I'm in the medium ghetto right now. I could be in the maximum ghetto, but I'm in the medium ghetto right now. You heard? Nigga, son getting big. Nigga getting old. When you start getting old, you start thinking about that backyard, nigga. 
You heard? In the porch. When a nigga start getting in his mid-40s and all of that, you start thinking about that pool and that backyard. You feel what I'm saying? So now, my mind is concentrated on getting a motherfucking house with some grass, nigga. I'm on the lawn. I want to learn how to keep my lawn manicured. You feel what I'm saying? Either that or a super rich condo in Midtown. Either one will work, baby. Either one will work. Long as it's luxury and I'm away from everybody, I'm good. Huh? Or both. That's really the dream. I need both. I need the house in Jersey for my kids. And I need a studio in a condo in Midtown. So that when I want to be in Manhattan, nigga, when I want to be in New York, I'm in Manhattan in a luxury condo on Park Avenue somewhere. And I'm calling my niggas, you come through, my nigga, pull up. Pull up. It's the address. Now, I mean, I'm going to come downstairs and bring you up because my doorman ain't letting nobody in. You heard? Come downstairs, bring niggas up to the spot, my nigga. We in there recording. We recording motherfucking music and filming episodes of shit. Now, I mean, right up in the motherfucking condo. Then when I'm finished putting in that work for the week, shoot my ass back to the suburbs of Jersey. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, but um, damn, I'm by my fault. I'm getting sucked up into juice again. I'm forgetting I'm on live, nigga. I'm getting sucked up into juice. Bishop just murdered Rodimez, man. That shit was that shit was cold. Brooklyn legend Fruit Corn in the building was populating. My nigga Fruit Corn, go subscribe to the bro Fruit Corn. He about to hit that thousand subscribers. He about to hit that. He could hit it today. He might hit that thousand subscribers today. You heard? Go subscribe to the bro Fruit. Because we moving out here. Code A bots is popping. Fruit Corn only needs 60 more subscribers to get to a thousand subscribers to get that YouTube partnership, niggas. Help him get to that. Help him put that 60 down today, nigga. It's 82 niggas in here right now. If y'all all went and subscribed, it'll be a wrap. Everybody in here, just if you ain't subscribed to Fruit Quad, go subscribe to Fruit Quad. We created the biggest network, jail channel network ever made, nigga. We about to lock the whole game down. Know what I mean, we're going to have a fucking monopoly on this shit. You ain't gonna be able to mention the word jail out your mouth on YouTube without going through the committee. You understand what I'm saying? So y'all niggas go subscribe to Fruit Quan, man. I mean, let's let's try to get him that thousand subscribers today. My nigga L Famous is in action. L Famous got his partnership. He in action. You about to see L Famous go crazy on YouTube. Shout out my nigga T-Bone Blast. Another nigga about to go crazy on YouTube. Shout out to the bro Saquon. When my bro Saquon launches a channel, and he ain't even thinking about launching a channel. I'm thinking about him launching a channel. When we do the, the, the Saquon channel, it's going to be strictly independent film, strictly movies, my nigga. When we do our first independent film, we're going to release and say, whatever film Saquon executive produce, that shit going to go on the exclusive Saquon channel. And we gonna push that shit. Yo, I got a crazy idea. I got some crazy ideas, my nigga. You heard, if you were invest out there, I seen a dude in the comments the other day talking about get at me for some money business. Get at me for some money business because I got some ideas for a nigga ass. If a nigga wanna invest some money, I got some ideas for a nigga ass, bro. You wanna invest some money, holla at me. We do an independent film and we split that shit 50-50, bro. Me and the investor, we split that shit 50-50. You, you heard? And what I'm going to do is, see, I don't want to give all my ideas out because you got a couple of stray YouTubers out there that we don't know. 
that's trying to run with the whole swag. You heard? So I ain't even going to throw this, but I got some monster ideas for independent films, nigga, how to make this money, how to get, if you want to make history. See, you, you don't holler at me if you just want to make money. You heard? Holler at me if you want to make money and history. Money secondary, history first. Holler at me if you want to make history. You heard? And whatever investor that's out there, you want to holler at me. Not only are you am I, you going to invest in me and my channel, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get you your own channel, your a company channel so that whatever media you feel like putting out, I'm going to get you a monetized channel when you invest in me. I'm going to make sure you get a monetized channel for your business. Also, you feel what I'm saying? So that if you want to invest some bread, let's just say hypothetically one of y'all niggas out there with a good lawsuit sitting on a good 300, 400,000. Just say you wanted to holler at me hypothetically with 50 racks. Yo, lads, I got 50 racks. I want to invest. I want to do a movie. I want to be a part of it. I want my artists in it. I want one of my artist songs on the soundtrack, blah, blah, blah. I bet we sit down, we come to an agreement, right? You give me that $50,000. I'm going to take that $50,000. I'm going to let you know what I'm going to do with the $50,000. First of all, I'm going to buy a movie camera. That shit eight racks. You heard? I'm letting you know that. But buying a movie camera, that's eight racks. I need I need major lighting. So that's gonna be another two thousand dollars on lighting. I need major audio. So basically, let's say out of that fifty, I'm gonna spend fifteen thousand on the equipment that I need to film a movie. You heard? That's the first thing you do when you get some money, my nigga. You buy you some glass. Real niggas invest in glass. Glass meaning camera equipment, lenses. You only as good as the lens. I'm talking about when we want to take this shit to making movies. Nigga, you need a movie camera. You heard? You need a movie camera. I'm going to tell you how these white niggas be getting it in. I'm going to tell you how movie producers, not just white niggas, black niggas too. I'm going to tell you how niggas get it in. Niggas get a line of business credit. So if you out there, you got a chick with great credit, listen, y'all start your LLC. Make sure you start your LLC. I got an LLC and I'm not using it the way I need to be using it right now. Because you could do anything with an LLC. Start your LLC, right? If your, if your girl got good credit, you got good credit, do anything and everything in your power. This is black nigga that's on YouTube that he teach you how to get a, a business line of credit. I forgot his name. But if you type in business line of credit. Now, I mean, black dude, it should pop up. Is this black dude, he a whiz in credit. I'd be studying that nigga. You understand what I'm saying? He'd be breaking it down how to get business credit, right? So, boom, you get that line of business credit. Let's say, you, you know what I mean, you bubble, you and your bro, y'all make it work. Y'all got a business now. Now, I mean, if y'all already got a business that's doing numbers and shit like that, you present that to the bank or whatever, you get a business line of credit. When you get a business line of credit, let's just say niggas give you, now I mean, $50,000 business line of credit. What you do with that 50,000, you film the film, the independent film, it could be a documentary about your life. You understand what I'm saying? You film that shit, you hire some documentary um, niggas. Yo, I'm gonna pay y'all niggas, you know, 10,000. Y'all film the whole documentary for me. Them niggas got camera equipment already. Now I mean, y'all niggas film the motherfucking documentary with the business line of credit. You pay for everything with the business line of credit, my nigga. Then you put the documentary out and you begin to make money off the documentary by putting it on YouTube as a paid only viewer. So a nigga got to pay $10 just to watch the documentary through your membership. You understand what I'm saying? Nigga got to be a member on your in your membership on YouTube to watch the movie. You understand what I'm saying? Now you start making your money back. You understand what I'm saying? And you start paying back off your business loan of credit. When you start paying back off that business line of credit, they going to increase your line of credit. After you pay that 50000 back, they going to give you 100000 and that's what these niggas be doing that make films. Like new filmmakers, they get a line of credit from the bank. They go spend $100,000 filming a film. They get that shit on Netflix. They make that $100,000 back in two weeks. And they pay their loan off. And now they got a $300,000 line of biz business credit. This is how niggas be making movies. Off of business credit. Lines of business credit. So I'd much rather do it off of a line of business credit than cash money. But I'm so crazy and psycho, I'll do the shit off of cash with cash money, nigga. You heard? I don't give a fuck. 
Nigga, give me $50,000. I'm putting a movie out, nigga. And that shit gonna be, I'm gonna light the whole YouTube up, nigga. And the money I'm gonna make off the streaming of that shit, bro, trust me, it's gonna be very easy to pay the investor back, my nigga. Now, if the investor wants to be hands-on with the film where he's in the film and he got a part of the film and this and that, that's different. We're going to talk about paybacks. You might want to be paid back in fame. You understand what I'm saying? But if you want to be paid, if you want the money you invested, I could give you that too, my nigga. You got to just let me know what you want to do. But if I'm paying a nigga the money, if I'm paying the money back, I own the film. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if we go in partnership, if we doing a partnership, we splitting the proceeds of that. But the bottom line is, that's where the money is at for an investor, nigga. Invest, y'all make a movie together, and y'all put that movie out, and y'all make y'all money back off the movie that y'all invested at the same time. You lighting the streets up, and you making yourself notorious out here. Because make no mistake about it, my nigga, fame is money, son. Fame is money. You, make your, you may not be making the money you want to make right now, but if you're becoming famous, my nigga... You don't know what your face might get you into tomorrow. A nigga might say, yo, listen, I ain't never been to jail like here, but I'm a fan of everything you do, man. Now, I mean, I got three million in the bank, man. What you need? You know what I mean? Just off of the strength of your notoriety. You feel me? So you can't count that shit out. Once you in the game, you in the game. You don't know what it's going to be that's going to break the mold and get you that big money. You understand what I'm saying? It may be your name. Now, you might tell a nigga, yo, my name's such and such. They could be like, what? You such and such for more for YouTube? Yo, I want to fuck with you. You know what I mean? And that's it, bro. You know what I mean? You in the door. You in Hollywood, nigga. You don't know who in Hollywood right now is listening to niggas. Run into a nigga in Hollywood, nigga. Like, what if you was what if we out there in Hollywood? Shuffling around, niggas running. Oh, word, that's y'all niggas? Yo, I'm going to take, yo, come through tomorrow to the lot. Next thing you know, you on the lot in Hollywood. It's over, my nigga. I got the gift of gab, nigga. I'm a talk. I done talked the nigga out of ten thousand dollars easily before an investor. One in an hour, nigga. Two niggas threw the battery in my back. Yo, that nigga got mad money, son. He's filthy rich. But you know, we don't want to keep asking him for shit. You should ask the nigga. I told the nigga straight up. I said, yo, we trying to do a video, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? We trying to get on this motherfucking BT uncut, nigga. Man, that nigga wrote a check for ten thousand dollars the next day, my nigga. We went and filmed the video. You understand what I'm saying? So you just never could count yourself out on how that bag is going to come in. You feel me? But listen, I got about three, four major TV ideas right now, my nigga. And I ain't even going to talk about the trailer ideas I got, man. I mean, I need to start a whole nother YouTube channel with the, with the ideas I got for movies that I could just film trailers for. Or I could just talk about them shits and put them shits on YouTube. Know what I mean? It's crazy. Mike Harvey, what's popping? Oh, my nigga Deuce Dutch in the building. What's populating? My nigga Deuce Dutch is in the building, my nigga. You heard? That's my bro Deuce Dutch right there from Dykeman. My nigga Deuce Dutch gotta be. My nigga Deuce Dutch gotta be the most famous New York City basketball coach and football coach in the whole city, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real. My nigga Deuce Dutch done took like five chips in the Dykeman tournament. Niggas that my nigga Deuce Dutch done coach done went to the NBA, nigga. Niggas playing in Division I college basketball and all of that. So if you play basketball or you got a son that plays basketball and he nice and that nigga want to get a chip, tell him to holler at my nigga Deuce Dutch from Dykeman. That nigga will get you a chip. You heard? That nigga may be the best street coach in the history of New York City. I ain't even gonna hold you. Shout out my nigga Deuce Dutch, 200 block Dykeman, man. You heard? But my nigga Deuce Dutch is an animal. Go follow that nigga on Facebook. Nigga done took 100 chips in the city. That nigga owned Dykeman tournament, nigga. With how many teams his, his teams done took the whole shit. Louis V was popping. Gio Roche was really good. Ghetto Guard was popping. King Far Rock was really good. Larry Jones, what up? Oakley Thigpen was popping. Malik Riches was really. D. Joseph was popping. 
Fruquan, drop your link to your page too, bro. If you still in here, fruit, drop your link to your to your to your YouTube page or to one of your videos so that dudes could just subscribe to that. You feel me? When Fru Fruquan drop his link, make sure y'all subscribe to that YouTube page, bro. We trying to get the bro to a thousand subscribers today. Today, he's 60 subscribers away from a thousand. Damn, bus. Driving too aggressively out here, nigga. About to run that man over with them good black air forces he got on. Them black air force ones, I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Them shits just come with a layer of dirt over them, like. They come out the box dirty, my nigga. I don't care how new them shits is. Once you take, once you put them shits on, a layer of dust just comes over them like, bloop. They just look filthy, no matter what, nigga. If you a chick wearing black Air Forces, man, you a different type of woman, my nigga. You heard? If a chick pop out with some Air, black Air Forces on, nigga, and you holler at her, nigga, you a brave nigga. Nothing look worse than them shits when they get wrinkly. Like when they get the crease on them shits, them shits be looking horrible. The black forces? I don't even fuck with forces. I'ma keep it real with you, my nigga. I don't fuck with them shits. I fuck with uh with uh dunks. I fuck with dunks. But as far as them black air forces, man, them shits got like 72 hour lifespan, nigga. Them shits be looking wild. I've had a few pair. But I'll stop fucking with them shits. Cause once them shits, now they got the joint that stop you from getting the crease on your joint and all of that. I be buying them shits too for my Air Max. Cause them Air Max ones, them shits is you them you wear them shits one time without that shit, you getting a crease in them shits. Just like black Tim Chuckers. I used to fuck with Chuckers, man, but Chuckers be ODing with that crease in the middle, bro. They got to fix that, man. Them shits get the super crease. You be looking crazy out here. Mm, I got a story I'm going to tell one day. Y'all niggas going to be crying. You heard? I got to tell the story. It's called The Sweaty Boots, man. You heard? I ain't even going to blow it up. But I got a story called The Sweaty Boots. When I put that shit out, y'all niggas going to be crying. If I forget, y'all remind me. If I forget that shit, just hit me up on the chat. And be like, yo, you got to tell that story of the sweaty boots, man. You heard? Shit was, shit, was, shit was a bad situation. It was a bad situation, baby. But yeah, man. If you ain't seen my new story that's out right now, the story of Pottersfield episode one go check that you heard them them views are starting to rev up them shit starting to rev up baby you know what i mean you know these niggas be on this channel putting up numbers so heavy and crazy i'd be happy when my shit do six seven thousand in 24 hours i'll be like okay you doing it last because these niggas be out here putting up 20s and 15s and 10s and 12s in 24 hours, my nigga, you heard? So uh, my shit do seven, 8,000 in 24 hours, I'll be happy, nigga. I'll be like, yeah, lads. You moving out here, nigga. You keeping up with these niggas. You heard? But yeah, my story, y'all niggas, man, it, it done got to a point now where niggas want to see them Google Maps, man. Niggas like, nah, man, I want to see the maps. I want to see the maps. It relaxes me. You heard? It relaxes me and puts me in a mind state where I could listen to the story. I seen the news today. Rikers Island, they were showing aerial shots of Rikers Island. I had to, I had to screenshot and steal them shits. You heard? Them shits was too crispy. They had the crispy hel helicopter shot of HB, um, HDM. I said, ooh, let me get that. Snatch that right up. See, I don't want to get banned, but it'd be all type of pictures from Rikers Island that I could be uploading. 
Seen a picture the other day. Police niggas cut the police arm while he was trying to break up a fight. Niggas cut that nigga arm with a scalpel. That nigga shit was open like a motherfucking, like he was on the surgery table. And he was just showing a picture of his arm. I was like, God damn. I don't want to put pictures up there like that and to be disturbing niggas. And niggas be like, damn, I'm disturbed from that shit. So I be taking it easy. But if I was a if I was a vile YouTuber like some of these niggas, I'll be posting that shit on the thumbnail and that shit be going through the roof. But I ain't going to do that. Know what I mean, because I don't want to be a nigga that just sells violence. I try not to be a nigga who sells violence. Know what I mean? You know, we talk in prison and jail, so, you know, this prison and jail, he once in a while, shit hit the fan, so, now I mean, we talking about shit hitting the fan, but that ain't all we talking about on this goddamn channel. You understand? Yeah, it's a lot of haters out there, man. Niggas is mad, man, because we got the whole New York City popping. That's all it is. You got niggas out there trolling and mentioning niggas' names and talking about niggas' cases disrespectfully and all of that. You understand what I'm saying? But... It's part of the game, my nigga. You know, you ain't never in your life going to come up doing nothing and you ain't going to have a Wario. You understand what I'm saying? Mario had a Wario. You know what I mean? You know, um, I'm trying to think, man. You know, you have every, every motherfucking, you know, My Little Pony, they got, you know, they got the, the evil My Little Pony. You heard? You know, they got the dark princess, dark My Little Pony. You feel me? Everybody got their little evil, evil counterpart, man. You know what I mean? You ain't, you ain't doing it until you develop an evil counterpart. You understand what I'm saying? So, these niggas be out here trying to be Wario's and motherfucking um, you know, niggas be out here trying to be your motherfucking your evil your evil twin. But um, niggas gotta get their weight up, man. Niggas gotta get their weight up, baby. You heard? Nigga said Waligi. Nigga said Luigi had Waligi. But yeah, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank though. I can't think of no other, no other, you know, imitation evil counterparts, man. Can't think of some right now, my nigga. B. Edmonds, peace. Peace to the God. I see you flagging that good gen pop. Shout out to all the dudes that's that join the gem pop membership that like three cash a month all of y'all should be joined you heard so we be flagging that poppery so when a hater come up in here all he see is them pop flags you know them pop flags is an ice pick it says gem pop real small but then there's an ice pick in the middle i mean not an ice pick there's a flathead in the middle you heard so you know we jailed out out here my nigga we jailed the fuck out Word, my nigga. <laughs> know what I mean? Niggas got the Wario's and the motherfucking, um, you know, them evil counterparts, man. Oh. But niggas be hating, man. Niggas be on, niggas be on hating. Niggas spreading false information about my nigga Saquon. Now, I mean, whatever you hearing about Saquon, you know that's my son. Nigga, that shit fake, nigga. Niggas on here, nigga. See, nigga can't, niggas can't be talking about they tell the truth, but niggas is spreading false information and lies. Niggas spreading false information and lies. Niggas out here spreading false information about my son, say, now I mean, talking about, yo, nigga live in the same hood. That's false, my nigga. Yo, nigga cut you three, nigga, same nigga cut a nigga three times. That's false, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, niggas see each other every day, don't do enough. That's false, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas' information be false. So, you know, if you going troll and shit, man, you got to be speaking facts, my nigga. You can't be making up shit. You know what I mean? But these niggas on here making up shit to get a couple of views, man. I understand, man. It's part of the game, bro. But I would never do that. I don't make up shit. You know what I mean? If something on my channel is deemed to be untrue, that shit comes off, or I give a nigga the motherfucking ability, the, the option to address that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. But um, it ain't gonna just be no completely made up story up on this motherfucker with made up facts. Like, nah, we ain't doing that, Lord. 
You understand what I'm saying? So I know it's a few haters out there that be feeding the haters. Like, you know, it be niggas you know from your hood and shit. Niggas be feeding, yo, say this about that nigga. Say that about that nigga. But, you know, you know, it's feminine, it's feminine things to do. I don't do feminine things. Yerk. But see, the thing is, but see, dudes be saying, yo, don't give a nigga your energy. And I agree, we're not giving haters energy. But sometimes I enjoy taking part in petty shit. You feel me? I start feeling like I'm I'm missing the fun and shit. Like, you know what I mean? I like to be petty too sometimes. You feel me? Shit is fun to me and funny. So I got shit locked and loaded right now, my nigga. So in case niggas get too crazy, you know, I got shit locked and loaded, Lord. You heard? I'm a strategic motherfucker, but it's like, like I said, man. So, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, lads, don't feed into it. And I don't feed into shit. But sometimes I feel like I'm missing out on fun. This shit is fun, nigga. I'm, I need some fun too. Like, you feel me? I love, I love barbecuing niggas, man. That shit is one of my favorite things to do. Barbecue a nigga up, man. Know what I mean? Barbecue a nigga right on up, man. I sit a nigga right down, man. I sit a nigga ass right down, son. Trust me, son. Many have tried, son. I sit a nigga down, son. Hurt. I make a nigga start doing audio interviews like me. Niggas won't even want to show themselves on camera fucking with me, son. I mean, I'm petty, nigga. You heard? You know? Straight up, man. Petty boop, nigga. Tom Petty. They call me Tom Petty. You feel what I'm saying? I could have 5 million subscribers. Sometimes I, I might just get petty with a nigga with three subscribers. Like, my man. Give a fuck. I'm trying to equal opportunities, nigga. Y'all niggas can all get on. Know what I mean, I help everybody get. I help everybody get on out this bitch. I give you the attention you need, baby. You know, but if you go troll on this motherfucker, and you go talk shit, man. You got to talk facts, my nigga. You can't be out here making up fantasies, my nigga. Fantasy Island. Might as well change your motherfucking channel to Fantasy Island, nigga. If you're going to be talking about fantasies and getting half-truths mixed up and all of that. Like, nah, son. You got to know what you're talking about, son. You can't just be talking. You're spreading lies, my nigga. You're spreading them lies. But, yeah, we schmoving out here, man. We schmoving, man. You heard? Nothing can stop the motherfucking train. Niggas want to get aboard. Niggas want to be the last card on the train, man. I understand, man. We're going to make sure everybody eat, man. want to see niggas get out them. I want to see niggas get out them. I ain't even going to say it, man. But um, I'm going to get you up out of that TJ Maxx and that Marshalls, my nigga. I'm going to get you up out of there, Lord. I'm bring you back to Bloomies, baby. I'm going to get you in Bloomies, man. I'm going to get a nigga in Bloomies, man. I mean, because right now, nigga, in motherfucking JCPenney's, man. You know what I mean? This is JCPenney's top of the line, buddy. That's one of the stupidest movies ever made, nigga. That shit funny as a motherfucker, though. Class act. That shit dumb, stupid. Blade Brown. Nigga said, nigga, Blade Brown. That nigga play was a mad thug. Where the fuck was that movie supposed to be filmed at, man? What part of Queens is them niggas from? Like, dude, that shit always confused me. Like, where was House Party filmed at in Connecticut, right? House Party was filmed in Connecticut, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or was it filmed in Queens? I don't know, man. You know? But that class act shit was funny, nigga. Nigga said, this, I'll have you know, this is J.C. Penny's top of the line, buddy. Nigga, kid, flat top was out of control, my nigga. Like, that shit was different, that nigga flat top. That nigga shit was crazy. I had a I had a flat top too, though. I had a good flat top. Niggas know, niggas know from the Ville. I had one of the highest flat tops in the projects. 
You heard? And I had a slope before. Had a good slope. I always tell a story of that time a nigga Korok from the Ville. That nigga Zeke my shit, man. Nigga had my slope mad small, man. You heard? Like, son, come on, son. I was a mad kid, so I ain't say nothing. I got back to the projects. Niggas was like, yo, son, what up with your slope, son? That shit dumb small. Fuck y'all niggas talk about, man. See, that nigga cut your slope too small, son. Shit was looking like a door stepper. You know them door stoppers? Them, them, them wedges? Just had a little door stopper, a little black door stopper on top of my head. Rest of my shit was, was skin faded. Nigga had my shit dumb high. Nigga had, nigga had my skin fade. My shit was on top of my head, nigga. With a little small teeny slope. Like, nah, Core Rock, man. You the bar. You, you know, you got that reputation being the best barber in the Ville, man. But, um, you was a little bit too aggressive that day on, on my on my slope, son. You heard? I, I, I just cut the shit off, man. I said, I'm out of here, man. This shit gotta go. You heard? I had to start from scratch and shit. Nigga had my slope dumb slope. That shit wasn't a slope. That shit was a sidewalk. That shit was a handicap ramp. I was like, damn, son. Niggas had joke, all type of jokes on me the next day in school. Like, son, what up? That nigga Korok Zeke you, son. Wow, nigga, you know, I had that Spanish hair, man. That nigga was aggressive with them clippers. My shit, just whole shit just came off vroom. Shout out to my nigga Pressure, man. I remember one time my, my son Pressure, man, when I was trying to shake my son Pressure up. Now I mean, one day that nigga had, he was trying to get his dreads popping. He had his twist, his beeswax and his shit. His shit was perfect. And I was trying to shape that nigga up. I just made a mistake and just cut off one of his whole dreads. And I tried to play that shit off. I was like, zzz, zzz. that shit just was like, bloop. <laughs> I just kicked, kicked that shit under my bed. That nigga was like, son, what was that, son? I said, what, 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 what was what? He said, son, I just seen something brolic just fly past, son. What was that? Nigga looked under the, nigga said, son, come on, son. You cut one of my dreads off, son. I said, damn, son, my fault, man. Whole beeswax dread. That shit was brolic. I just was like this. I went up a little bit too high. That shit just said, Mur. nigga just had a little spot there with a missing dread. I was like, all right, son. I'm going to leave these clippers alone after today. You heard? So I was practicing on niggas. I was fucking niggas up. I was fucking niggas up in Howard. Yo, son, yo, come to my crib, son. Let me practice on your shit right quick. Fucking niggas shit up. Cut my nigga whole dread off by mistake, man. I mean, my fault, son. Nigga tried to play that shit off quick. Your dark clouds is popping. Jimmy Olive, what's really good? Red Room Podcast was popping. Cav Tyson, peace. Bread Life was populating. Low Rule, what up? Crazy Bailey, what up? KX was popping. Shaka Zulu was really hood. ABG BK all day was populating. Silver Bear, what up? Richard Asante was populating. Nah, son. I know that wasn't no California house party, son. No way. Please, I they I think that was Connecticut when they was in the suburbs. Or Queens, man. You know, Queens got some deep suburbs, man. They look like the suburbs, but that shit be the hood, though. Don't be fooled. You be in Queens and shit. You be like, oh, this is nice. Bunch of houses and lawns. Don't be fooled by that shit. Niggas be shooting them houses up, nigga. Hold on. They ringing my doorbell. Hold on. Yeah, man. But that new episode is dropping at 4 o'clock today, man. I wish it was dropping earlier, man. But I got to go by with YouTube telling me what times is the best times. So that's going to drop at full cash. That's fire. I wish it was a longer episode. It's type short, though. It's to a point now where I don't even like dropping nothing that ain't 40 minutes and better, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real. I be trying. I be trying to keep it 40 minutes and better. You heard? 
But yeah, that house party is my shit, my nigga. Ain't nothing. House party put a lot of niggas on. House party put Martin and Gino on, my nigga. Tisha Campbell and Martin, they got on from house party. I mean, um, you know, Sun was in Do the Right Thing. Martin was in Do the Right Thing. So, you know, that that kind of gave him his start too. But in, in, in when that nigga was Bilal in house party, man, that nigga was funny, nigga. The nigga it was like, yo, stop hitting the fucking table. Yo, chill. Hey, yo, chill. Stop hitting the table. You heard? That nigga was funny as a motherfucker in house party. So from there, that nigga went on to motherfucking do Martin. I be, I've been I've been watching Martin lately, man. Some, some a couple of politically incorrect jokes, of course. It was the 90s. You feel what I'm saying? But I've been watching Martin lately, man. Shit been funnier than a motherfucker. I was watching that episode last night. My mama bird. That shit had me crying, nigga. <laughs> that shit had me crying. My mama bird. Son, that nigga came to the pet shop. Nigga had the bird in the A6 box. Nigga had the bird in the A6 gel box. The pet shop nigga was like, I need I need I need more information. Can you give me some? He was like, I need a bird that's green and, and yellow. Nigga was like, I need more information than that. I need to nigga said, you need you need more information. You need more information, god damn it. Nigga just pull nigga just threw the box on the table. Bird just came out the box. Niggas are dead. Now, nigga, look at that. That's the information you need, nigga. That shit was funny as a motherfucker, nigga. Straight up. Nigga had that shit in the A6 box, my nigga. Shit was dumb funny. Nigga was like, nigga was like, Gina, I'm not, I'm not worried about the bird, Gina. I'm worried about my mama, Gina. Once she find out, Gina, she gonna get the slicing. Nigga said she gonna, I know her, she gonna get the slicing. That nigga stupid, son. Nigga said she gonna get the slicing. Then I was watching an episode where, the, where that nigga family came over for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and that nigga thought he was motherfucking Eddie Murphy. The nigga pops with the one eye. And the nigga thought that nigga and his son thought he was Eddie Murphy that was stealing shit. That shit funnier than a motherfucker, son. Nigga, see so you invited who? Nigga, moms just jumped off the fire escape like, what? You told them that you gave them niggas this address? Jumped off the fire escape with one shoe on. We got that whole vibe from mom playing. His mom. This piece of shit keep cutting off. I'm about to get off this shit. If it keep doing it again, I'm going to get off this shit, man. Now, I mean, Dub Honcho was populating. Jimmy Jones was really good. But yeah, my nigga. You know, niggas could say that. Niggas, some niggas may argue and say that. Um, Martin got um, Shanene from Jamie Foxx doing Wonder. You heard? So. The shit don't stop. I was watching that bar episode two with the nigga Tommy Davidson Vardell Hill. That nigga had dub niggas just Davidson Vardell Hill. That nigga had dub niggas just them niggas had me crying, son. Them niggas had me crying, son. Them niggas couldn't even stop laughing. Nigga said them niggas couldn't even stop laughing. Nigga said, nigga said. Do you got a pool, man? You got a pool? You splashing? You splashing? You swimming around or something? Nigga said, nah, I don't got no pool, man. I don't got no pool. He said, oh, God. He said, yeah, you got me. I don't got a pool. He said, uh, yeah, you ain't got no pool, huh? Nigga said, got a 10-mile lake, though, in the back. We call it Lake Varnell. Nigga said, the, catf the catfish in there. <laughs> Nigga said, the catfish in there is delicious. Nigga said, the catfish. Nigga Martin, even Martin couldn't hold that laugh in, my nigga. And nigga was like, got 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 a ten got, got a ten mile lake though. Nigga said, yeah, we call it, we call it Lake Varnell. He said, yeah, catfish in there. He said, you got catfish, you got, you got your own lake, man. You got catfish. He said, he says, what about the greens, man? What about the greens? You got greens going? He said, oh, the best greens. Nigga said, what about the, what about yams? 
actually we got our our yams are imported from New Orleans. <laughs> and nigga Martin, and nigga Martin stopped the tape. And nigga stopped the tape. Like, oh Lord, we going to a commercial. Nigga said, damn, man. Nigga said, how can I get to the yams? Nigga said, I need to get to the yams, man. <laughs> nigga said, what you driving, man? What you driving out there? He said, no, I'm not driving right now. He said, oh, 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 oh you're not driving, huh? He said, yeah, you know, I got a limousine now. Mercedes limo. He said, oh, you had to just throw that in there. Mercedes limo, huh? Yo, that shit was funny, son. That nigga was hating. <laughs> that nigga was hating on Tommy Davis. is so crazy. That shit was funny, son. Nigga said, see, what I do is, you know, reel them in. Fry them, dye them, lay them to the side. Red beans and gravy. I ain't too lazy. <laughs> nigga said a nigga got his own lake with his own catfish in the back. In the back. Nigga said, Snooky, it's a crowd between me and my car. Get to work. Work on that. That nigga stupid, son. Tommy Davidson is an ill nigga too, my nigga. That nigga was adopted. You feel what I'm saying? That nigga was raised by some, raised by white parents. Know what I mean? Like, nigga never, I don't think he ever met his real parents. You feel what I'm saying? So that nigga's, his story is crazy too, bro. Tommy Davidson is a nigga that he, that nigga done been through a lot of shit. That Living Colors cast, nigga, everybody on that shit went to be superstars, nigga. Jamie Foxx, Damon Wayne's, Marlon Wayne's, motherfucking Keenan Ivory Wayne's, Jim Carrey, motherfucking Jennifer Lopez, motherfucking everybody, nigga. Everybody that David Allen Greer, Tommy Davidson, everybody that was on a living color cast went on to be legends, my nigga. You heard? Real talk. And I forgot the white chick name. That white chick is fucking hilarious. The white chick from In Living Color? Forgot her name, man. But she's fucking hilarious, my nigga. Even Kim Wayans. Kim Wayans. Kim Wayans was bad to me. I don't know what the fuck niggas was talking about. And to this day, if you see Kim Wayans, she's bad. You heard? She's bad. But yeah, man. Niggas put in that work on a living slow. That's a fact. Niggas said, did you miss me? Nigga came in, that nigga was jacking that nigga Martin's whole shit. Nigga was like, what's up? Nigga just jacked that nigga whole shit. Nigga Martin was in the audience ODing like Arsenio Hall. <laughs> It's shit dumb funny because the crowd can't hold their head. The crowd's po a whole crowd was laughing at that nigga. That nigga was acting so crazy, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga dumb. Yo, let me tell you, living color, them niggas is super politically incorrect. They can't get away with none of them skits. Nigga said the head detective, nigga just was a head with some feet. Nigga like, put me in the game. Nigga throwing that nigga like a bowling ball at cr at criminals. Nigga was a head with feet with a gun. How the fuck you got a gun, nigga? Nigga just a head with a gun. Them niggas had too much time on their hand in living color. <laughs> Them niggas was putting together all type of skits, the head detective. That shit was hilarious, nigga. And certain shit they could never get away with, like handyman. You could, them niggas could never get away with no shit like that nowadays. Handyman. Nah, bro. Niggas would be out with picket signs like this. Man, living color. Know what I mean? Fire Marshal Bill, that couldn't fly. That couldn't fly. Hey, Mon, that couldn't fly. 
You heard? Niggas, I had to redesign that shit. <laughs> Vera De Milo. That nigga was hilarious. That nigga Jim Carrey. Vera De Milo in. Nigga just had the ponytails with the motherfucking bikini on. That nigga was. That nigga Jim Carrey is stupid, son. Then them niggas, then with the nigga Damon Waynes and the nigga Jim Carrey be playing the priest, the preachers from the church. Oh man, son, them niggas was acting terrible, son. That nigga Jim Carrey is hilarious, my nigga. I never told y'all the story about how the nigga Jim Carrey got a movie right called "I Love You Something." I forgot the name of the shit. I love you such and such, right? And it's a gay movie. I didn't know that. I saw the original story of that movie, the documentary, on one of these crime channels. And that shit was crazy. You heard the documentary? It was a true story. And I seen the crime documentary. And then the movie came out with Jim Carrey. And I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. So I said, oh, word, they made a movie out that shit? I'm going to see that shit. So sometimes, you know, I go to the movies by myself. You know, just to check out a new movie. So I saw that shit on the post. I said, oh, shit. This, I remember I seen this shit on the crime channel. They made a movie. I said, I'm going in here to see this shit. So I goes in the movie theater. I buy my ticket. I ain't paying no attention. I see the nigga had a jail uniform on, cuffed to another nigga, um, shackled to another nigga, right? So I said, oh, this shit, oh. First, that's what caught me. I said, oh, some jail shit? Then I said, oh, shit, this is the story based on that nigga I seen on the crime channel. I said, nah, I got to go see this. So I go up in the movie theater. I go buy my ticket. I go up in the motherfucking movie theater. I'm sitting up in the movie theater. The shit coming on. I look around. Everybody staring at me, nigga, in the whole movie theater. Everybody looking at me. I'm like, why the fuck these niggas looking at me like this? So in my head, I'm like, these niggas on some racial shit because I'm the only hood nigga in here because we was on, like, the Upper East Side or something. Not me at the movie theater. So I'm like, why the fuck all these niggas looking at me? Nigga, I start watching the movie. 15 minutes into the movie, I realize this is a gay movie, my nigga. And everybody in this movie theater right now is gay. Jim Carrey was playing a gay nigga. I forgot that he was a gay nigga when I seen the documentary. But I didn't know, like, they put out street whole gay movies where everybody that's in the movie theater be gay. I didn't know that. So I'm sitting up in the movie theater. Every two seconds, niggas is turning around looking at me like when something gay happens in the movie. Like he kissed the nigga or something. People turning around looking at me like... So that kiss, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Then I realized, oh, shit. I'm sitting in a movie theater full of gay niggas, my nigga. And I'm watching a gay movie aimed at the gay audience. I said, damn. I said, ah, it's too late now. I can't get up and walk out the movie theater now because then I'm going to look like I'm a homophobic nigga. If I get up and just, well, oh, shit, and get up out of here. So I just stuck it out and watched the movie. And I'm going to keep it real with you. The movie is fucking crazy, nigga. That shit is about a nigga that was a gay nigga and he was in love with some other gay nigga. I love you, Philip Morris. That's the name of the movie. Now, I mean, he was in love with a nigga and the nigga started doing all type of scams in order to take care of this nigga to impress him like he was rich this nigga did all type of crazy shit to get millions of dollars my nigga it's amazing the type of shit he got away with it's a based on a he was gay nigga and he was a gay nigga and he was doing all of the shit for him so i was stuck in the movie theater for two hours like this I'm like, if a nigga pop up with a camera right now and film me, they can say gay ass nigga St. Lads in the movie theater watching gay ass movie with all these gay ass niggas, man. You heard? I would have just been fucked up trying to explain that one. But you know how it ended up looking? It made me look like I, I, I took one for the team, nigga. When I left that movie theater, all them gay people was like this. They was like, yo, we respect you, nigga, because you a heterosexual nigga that's a hood nigga, 
and you sat down in one of our movies and watched a good gay movie with us. You know what I mean? We commend you for that. And I was like this, right back at you, baby. But little did they know, nigga, I came out that movie theater like this. Mission Impossible. Boom, 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 boom. Wasn't trying to get spotted. You heard? But um, movie was a great movie, man. If you're not mean, if you're not scared of gay movies, go watch that shit. I love you, Philip Morris. That shit crazy, bro. It's based on a true story. That nigga Jim Carrey acted his ass off in that movie. And he was not afraid to be a real actor, like you know. Under that, but um, Jim Carrey, I respect your game. And the movie was fire, my nigga. I, I want to see that shit again. You feel what I'm saying? But I was up in that movie theater trapped up in there, nigga, for about an hour and a half. I might have to, t I might have to tell that story on the channel, man. I mean, step my motherfucking gay audience up, nigga. Shit. Them niggas cut them checks, nigga. Gay niggas run Hollywood. That, if you want to get it in Hollywood, nigga, you better, be, you better be a nigga that's able to be around some gay niggas and not be uncomfortable. Because them niggas is the check writers. They the check writers, nigga. You heard? So you better get used to that shit, nigga. You can't be on no 1986 shit like that nigga Eddie Murphy saying wild shit on Delirious. Like, you kiss your gay friend on his cheek. Fuck around, go home with that AIDS on your lips. Niggas was out of control saying shit like that. Nigga said, you know, your, 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 your wife at work with a gay friend. Kiss gay. The gay nigga give her a little peck. All right, see you tomorrow, Tom. Nigga said she come home with that AIDS on her lips. You can't, you can't say shit like that nowadays, so you can't be stuck up in 84 like that nigga Eddie Murphy, nigga. You got to be well-rounded, nigga. You got to be able to sit up in that movie theater and watch that. I love you, Philip Morris, nigga, if you're trying to get that big bag. Yerk. And that's a fact. Mac <laughs> in the building was popping. Hood politics, ENT was really good. Robert Campbell was popping. Go subscribe to the bro Magnine, I mean. Rikers Island TV channel, you heard? Go go subscribe to the bro if you ain't subscribed already. Romy 16 was populating. Fast Cash Dave, what's really? Oh, Gunter, what's really hood? Captain Slave Hole was populating. Elliot R. Joey Frakes was popping. Yeah, that homie don't play that. Even though them niggas wasn't kids, they was grown ass niggas playing kids. But that shit still was wild. Niggas was just slapping kids upside their head. <laughs> niggas said, niggas said, now repeat after me. Homie the clown. Then that nigga just go into a rant. Because the white, the white oppressive system none came up my mother. Yo, let me tell y'all something about me and the nigga Saquon that I need y'all niggas to know so y'all niggas could really know. When we was up top, we used to literally, you know that skit from Living Color where the nigga be like, see, when you go into your pituitary and, you know, your ejaculation, you know, comes one with your... Masturbation. Remember that nigga Damon Wayne used to do that shit? Me and that nigga used to be laughing at that shit so much that we used to literally use words out of context. And me and my son Ha Mills used to do that. Shout out to my nigga Hamo. Me and my nigga used to do that. Right? We used to literally use word um, wrong words out of context because that shit was hilarious. So every once in a while, you may hear that on the channel because we just stupid like that. Nigga be like, yeah, son, you know what I mean? Because um, the fluctuation wasn't right on that, son. You heard? We used to be saying that shit and crying. Knowing damn well that word ain't go with that word. But because of that and living color shit and we was in jail, we used to do that shit on purpose. We'd just pick a word. Nigga be like, yeah, son, you know, because um, I can't even... I can't even get uh, my astrophysinations with that. Niggas just be saying anything, son. 
Niggas used to be saying that shit for a joke, my nigga. And to this day, we still do that shit. Know what I mean? But that nigga from Living Color, the nigga that used to be like, see now, if you would lie, my penal, you know. Walking in the middle of the street, bro. Bugging the fuck out. Sidewalk. You ever heard of a sidewalk? That's the shit you really supposed to walk on. Bitch walking in the middle of the streets with a with a big ass pit bull. With some big pink, with his big pink balls swinging like chill, Lord. You know, sidewalk. I don't want to see a dog balls. I shouldn't be subject to seeing your dog balls, nigga. Put your ass on the sidewalk, Lord. But yeah, man. I'm driving this shit. I take my daughter to tennis and shit. My daughter bugging the fuck out. My other daughter came from camp yesterday. So, you know, they partners in crime. Once they get up with each other, they be trying to break night and shit. Shit that we can't even do no more. Nigga, I break night, nigga. I might have to go to the hospital the next day. You heard? If I stay up and break night and try to stay up all night and not sleep tonight, nigga, I might be in the emergency room the next day. You feel what I'm saying? My kids be trying to do that shit thinking that shit is cool. Wake up this morning, both of them up at 7 o'clock on a computer trying to edit some shit. I'm like, nigga, you know you got tennis today. Your ass gonna be a zombie on that tennis court. You heard? So you be all right. You be on that tennis court, nigga, and that sun with two hours of sleep under your belt, you're gonna be mad. So she'll be all right. But, um, yeah, these kids be thinking that shit is cool to break night. Nah, nigga. We used to do that shit when we was kids. Yo, son, we breaking night tonight, son. Next day, nigga be regular. Nigga be regular. Like, fuck it, I skipped the night of sleep. I'll, get, I'll catch up tomorrow. Try to do that shit now in your 40s, nigga. Miss a whole day of sleep. Shit of be in a wheelchair. Know what I mean? Nah, I can't joke about wheelchairs. I take that back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that an accident? Don't have me. Nah, Lord. We ain't doing that. Okay, okay. Traffic is still moving. Don't have me go into no out. Because in New York, you'll run into an hour accident, my nigga. Damn, nigga. Shit. Thrashed. Wow. Niggas be having. Niggas be having. Some serious accidents, bro. You know, I was in a serious accident before. Luckily, you know, nobody... I was hurt, though. I was hurt. But luckily, nobody was seriously hurt with it. Like, niggas was bleeding. It's in an accident that was wild. Shit spun us around three times, nigga. Shit spun us around three times. Like, we did... Three, three, three sixties. Like, choo, 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 choo. that's how hard we got hit. That's my word. To this day, I'm traumatized from that shit. When I be in a car, I just be. You always bracing yourself for an impact out of nowhere. Like, nigga, we got hit in that, in that accident. <coughs> that shit felt like a nigga shot a rocket. That shit felt like we got hit with a rocket down the street and it just shot us with a missile. <gasps> Shit spun us out of control, nigga. Three times we was spinning. I ain't think that shit was gonna stop. Word the mother. I'm gonna tell that story. All of that story is in the story of Pottersville coming up. It's in the story of Pottersville, my nigga. The car, the car accident. That's gonna be a part of the story of Pottersville. Cause my whole life changed once I had that accident, nigga. Straight, straight up. That's when I was living in motherfucking Throg's Neck. That's when I had a basement apartment and apartment in Throg's Neck, but my ceiling was so low, nigga. I had to walk around the motherfucking house crunched over like a motherfucking hunchback of Notre Dame. You heard? Five times out of day, five times a day, I was hitting my head on the ceiling, nigga. Shit was rough. I told my landlord, I said, nigga, when I left that shit, he ain't want to give me my one month security back. 
I said, nigga, if you don't, if you don't give me my motherfucking money, you got me living in this motherfucking cave. Got me living in this motherfucking uh uh what's that nigga name? El Chapo tunnel. Nigga had me living in an El Chapo tunnel, nigga. Nigga. Called that nigga niggle. <laughs> That's a new joint, niggle. Fuck out of here, niggle. But anyway, nigga had me, nigga had me motherfuckers. Nigga had me living in a motherfucking El Chapo tunnel, nigga. Talking about he not giving me my security back. I said, nigga, if you don't give me my motherfucking 1200 At that time, a rent was only 1200 And I used to be complaining about that. Nigga, I wish my rent was 1200 right now. Nigga, I'd, be, I'd throw a part every week if my rent was 1200 You feel me? That nigga had me living in that El Chapo tunnel, nigga. I, when it was time to leave, I left that motherfucker because a mouse problem was out of control and he couldn't get it. You know, that's the landlord's, uh, 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 you don't have to pay rent. If you got mice in your house, you do not have to pay rent, period. You got to hold your money in escrow, though, and show them niggas that you holding the money in escrow. But I stopped paying a nigga like, yo, matter of fact, I kept paying a nigga. That's why we was arguing. I kept paying a nigga. I said, listen, nigga, I don't got to be paying you. You can't get this mouse problem under control. I don't got to pay you, nigga. So when it was time to leave, he had the nerve to say, yo, nah, I can't give you back that shit. I said, what? I said, nigga, I'm being forced out of my apartment because you can't control the mouse problem. And you think, and I, I ain't had to pay you. And you think you're going to hold my security, nigga? Y'all. Y'all. Told that nigga straight up, son. Son, I will pull up at your ribs, son. I will pull up at your crib, son. Your address is on the on the lease agreement, nigga. I will pull up at your crib, nigga. Get my shit to me. Stop playing. But that's my dude, though. Shout out to my nigga Steve, man. My little my Italian nigga Steve. That nigga was a funny motherfucker. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm five two, but I'm Italian. He was one of those niggas, man. Nigga was five two, but he was Italian. So that nigga was tough. That's my nigga, but Steve had to come up off that motherfucking security, nigga. Said, nigga, I done hit my head in this shit like 46 times, nigga. You owe me all type of concussion bills. You heard? Said, you had me come up in this motherfucker. Y'all niggas ain't even make the ceiling high enough, nigga. I hit my head. I wasn't hitting my head on the ceiling. I was hitting my head on beams. Nigga had a couple of beams. I'm like, son, these shit's... Nigga got a duck on these shits, bro. That shit was rough, nigga. That shit was rough, rough and rough and tough, nigga. I had a bachelor pad. That shit was hood as a motherfucker. That shit was hood as a motherfucker, bro. But yeah, all that's in the story of Yadas. All that shit is in the story of Yadas. Yeah, my niggas. Know what I mean? New episode dropping at four o'clock. Four o'clock today with the bro Charlie Rock LD, formerly of the Terror Squad. I'm saying though, was populating. Know what I mean, formerly of the Terror Squad. Know what I mean, and he gonna tell his story. He got this shit is gruesome. I ain't even gonna hold you. That nigga story is gruesome, bro. He got some gruesome Rikers Island and up north stories that's different. For real, for real. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, that's dropping at 4 o'clock. You know what I mean? I got a new Saquon hopefully dropping tomorrow. If YouTube do the right thing like Rosie Perez and Radio Raheem. You know what I mean? I got another joint dropping. You know what I mean? I got some new L Famous coming. You heard? I got some new motherfucking T-Bone Blast coming. Know what I mean, I got some new Kamal Speaks. I got some new Everlast coming. I got some new, um, our first West Coast story coming to the channel. I got a lot of shit dropping this week, man, and this weekend, man. So, you know what I mean? Y'all dudes bear with me. You know what I mean? I'm overworked out this bitch. I'm overworked. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm overworked and underpaid, baby. I am overworked and underpaid. And that's a fact.
Yeah, man. Let me see who's in the build. Let me see who's in the build on. The introverted CEO, shout out, bro. Yeah, the bro John Ryder is a problem on the channel, my nigga. My nigga John Ryder is eating food out there. That nigga's a mad entertaining motherfucker. Goat lady was popping. I see you in the building. OG Sunny Block, oh, what's really good? You heard? But, um, yeah, man. John Ryder is a funny motherfucker. And he was the same way up north. You feel what I'm saying? We was up north together in Hudson. He was part of my team. We had the super team up in Hudson. We had the greatest team ever made in Hudson. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Our team in Hudson, that shit was legendary, my nigga. We had the most, and it was just legendary because it was because of the unity. We wasn't. You know, doing stupid shit to niggas and all of that. We was too deep for anybody to even play with us. So nobody even played with us because we was too deep. So my, we was crazy deep, nigga. Crazy deep. Uptown and Brooklyn mob unified. Like, we was super deep. The peoples was super deep. It was, un we was unstoppable. I don't care if you came from F Attica with 11 bangers, nigga. You gonna have a problem in this jail. Because we was too deep. Brooklyn was too heavy. Uptown was too heavy, you heard, but we had the mass squad and the squad, we was so crazy because we was just unified, you heard, it was that that niggas feared, niggas feared the unity, we wasn't bullying nobody, we wasn't starting no trouble, niggas just feared the unity, like god damn them niggas is unified, you heard, we was super unified, I'm talking about me, my nigga Ryder, my nigga Mike Ease, rest in peace, my nigga Kenny from Harlem. My nigga Wap from D Block 354. My nigga T Dubs from Tilden. The nigga V from LH, legend. My nigga Smooth, Fat Smooth from LH, legend. Motherfucker, who else was there with us? My nigga Hamo. My nigga Shaw from the Bamas. My nigga Steve O from the Star. The other Steve-O, you know what I mean? The other Steve-O from the start. Not, not light-skinned B-boy Steve-O. The other Steve-O. Who else? We was super deep, my nigga. You know what I mean? We was super deep. Who else, though? My nigga Shug. My nigga Marvell. My nigga Shug. You heard? My nigga C. Burns. Man, we was deep, son. We was, my nigga Clint. My nigga Kunta Clinte. My nigga Clint. You heard? Nah, we had the squad, my nigga. We was getting that trauma. We was chilling. We was chilling. You feel me? My nigga Wes. My nigga Snipes from Marcy. My nigga Snipes. You know what I mean? From Marcy was there with us. You know what I mean? My nigga Big Head D. Pause from the Bronx. My son Big Head D. My nigga Boo from up the hill in the Ville. My nigga Petey Weestro. My nigga Pistol. From up the hill. My nigga Ruff. From Tilden in upstate New York. My nigga Starborn. Damn, we was deep, my nigga. We was too deep in that bitch. You heard? We was too deep in that bitch. Who else, man? Who the fuck else we was there with? We had the, we had the monster squilly. We had the monster squilly. You heard? The monster squilly. Nigga Super God was in on deck too. My nigga Kasim from Mount Vernon. Super God was on deck. We wasn't really fucking. Oh, my nigga Murder. I'm forgetting the nigga Murder. My son Murder was with us. You heard? My nigga Judo from Marcy. You heard? It was a lot of Marcy niggas in there. My nigga Judo, my nigga Snipes, know what I mean? My nigga J Money from Marcy was there. I ain't know J Money though, know what I mean? But son was there. It was mad niggas there at the time. You feel what I'm saying? But my nigga Murder, that was my main son. You heard him, my nigga Ryder, Mike Ease. These was my niggas. These was the niggas I was with every day. My nigga Wop, know what I mean? We was every day. We was every day. You feel me? Smoking mad dank. We had our own little TV, our own little porch, because in Hudson, they got porches. 
So, you know what I mean? We had our porch. We had D-Cottage. We, we kind of had D-Cottage and C-Cottage porch, man. You know what I mean? Now, we had D-Cottage porch mainly, though. C-Cottage had their little shit, though. They had their shit. We was rocking both. You understand what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. It was some heavy, it was some heavy uh, major niggas in Hudson. We was chilling. It's a laid back jail, happy Hudson. We was all chilling. But we had to squid it all. Nigga Devon, old school Devon with the motherfucking tail. Son came through there. I told a story about that. My nigga Magnetic from upstate New York, from Albany. That's my son. My nigga Magnetic, the guard. You feel what I'm saying? Psst. We had the Monster Squad, man. We had the Monster Squad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what time we what time we leaving out, man? Cause I'm Yo, what time we leaving out? Cause I'm already on I'm around the way. I'm on deck. Word, man. <laughs> Kenny Mac was populating. But yeah, my niggas, new episode dropping at 4 o'clock today. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so that you get the notifications that tell you when a new episode is coming out. You feel what I'm saying? So you ain't got to miss no episodes at all. You heard? So he was populating St. Louis in the building. What's really good? Hood politics was popping. Or niggas is running around talking that monkey pox shit. Like, we live in a silly motherfucking world, my nigga. You heard Brian King was popping. We live in a silly motherfucking world, nigga. Angelina Red, what up? Niggas talking about monkey pox. Like, y'all niggas couldn't come up with a better name for that shit than monkey pox, my nigga. This shit's stupid, my nigga. That shit sound dumb, my nigga. I don't want to be, I mean, I'd be embarrassed to have some shit called monkey pox. Like, the fuck, that shit going to turn you to a monkey or something, nigga? Nigga, wake up one day, nigga, whole body covered in hair and shit. That's what I think about when I say monkey pox. Like, the fuck, little, little monkeys going to start forming on my skin or something, nigga? What the fuck y'all niggas talking about? So these niggas silly, man. I took a COVID test the other day, man. You know what I mean? I had to go see my moms and shit. Them niggas make you take a COVID test. I took a motherfucking COVID test. I'm sitting there for 20 minutes waiting for the results of that shit. And I realized I did the whole test wrong. So I had to go do the whole test over again. Shit came back negative. I was like, damn, man. This shit is, this shit is a lot of shit, man. Nigga got a stick of Q-tip up his nose. Stir the shit inside the bottle. Put the drops of the loot liquid on the test. That's a lot of shit, my nigga. It's a lot of shit y'all niggas want niggas to do, man. You feel me? And then the stupid shit is, you doing the COVID test. You doing the COVID test, but you handing me. It's not like you. I'm getting the test kit. From a from a from a, a dispenser or something, nigga handing me the text the test kit with his bare hands like yo here, nigga you could be giving me COVID right now. I might not have the shit and you just gave it to me. The same shit with that stupid store shit, niggas be behind a glass with three masks on, goggles and shit, and then niggas hand you the money with their bare ass hands, some dirty ass COVID money. Yo here, like nigga what you standing behind the glass for? With masks, if you're going to just hand me the money and the groceries that I'm buying with your bare hands. That shit just defeated the whole purpose of the motherfucking, uh, the glass and the mask. You heard? So it's like, this shit is dumb, bro. You heard? But that's the world we live in, my nigga. It's an idiotic world. We live in an idiotic world. That's why I watch South Park. Sometimes you got I watch South Park for therapy. You know what I mean? When I need some therapy, this is I'm dead ass too. When I need some therapy in life and I'm feeling stressed out about life and society, 
I watch South Park. That shit puts me right back in the mind state that I need to be in. That shit puts me right back in perspective. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah, it ain't just me. Every, there's a lot of people out here that think this is a silly fucking world we live in. You heard? So yesterday, I told y'all niggas, the bus was, the nigga, somebody was blocking the bus. Niggas had the bus blocked for an hour and a half, nigga. Niggas had niggas on the bus waiting for an hour and a half for this person to move out the double parking spot. You heard? You know who it was? It was two chicks, my nigga. It was two chicks. It was one chick that was in the physical therapy spot. After I went in there and the broad barked on me like, they not in here. So, I, you know, I'm petty. I went back in there and said, excuse me. I thought you said the person that's blocking the joint wasn't in here. She said, well, we, we made the announcement and they didn't say anything. I said, but basically you was wrong with that information. And I just wanted to come back in and let you know that you was wrong about that information because, you know, you kind of balked kind of balked my head off when I came in there and asked. So I just had to let it be known, nigga. And then the next broad that was blocked, because it was two cars blocking the shit. So even if one moved, it was still one blocking. The next car that was blocking the shit, she was just somewhere in somebody's house somewhere. She just came strolling down the block like, nigga, bus driver was like, yo, we've been here for an hour and a half. You blocking us the fuck in, you stupid motherfucker. She arguing back with the nigga. Nah, 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 nah. He like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, damn, nigga, it was two chicks. I had to film, I had to film one of them broads just so I could analyze you. Like, damn, you the nigga who had the bus waited for an hour and a half. You a selfish motherfucker, nigga. She was in there getting piped or something. That shit was crazy. I felt sorry for the bus driver, man, because that nigga was stuck for an hour and a half sitting on one block. And it was two 18 wheelers stuck on the block. Shit was hectic. But I just want to let y'all niggas know it wasn't no men, bro. So, you know, we winning. We winning out here in the driver, the driver comparison. Because, you know, y'all chicks, man, you know. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, man. Y'all chicks, y'all some reckless motherfuckers behind the wheel, man. I'm just keeping it real with you. Y'all females out there, y'all some reckless motherfuckers behind the wheel, my nigga. I be seeing chicks coming out of parking spots, nigga. They just be ramming, nigga, shit. Boom! Boom! I'm like, damn! They don't know how to get out of spot without hitting niggas' bumpers to get out. I'm like, yo. You know. If you meet a chick that's an excellent driver, she's a keeper. It says something about her personality. If she's an excellent driver, she's a keeper, my nigga. Because these broads out here, they can't drive for shit. Tell me. These broads will kill your ass on the road, nigga. Bro, be 5'2". These broads be killing me, my nigga. These broads be 5'2". Nigga, drive, bitch driving a motherfucking excursion. Jerk. Bro, 5'2", she driving an excursion. With 22s on that shit. Like, damn, bitch. Why do you have a need to be in such a huge vehicle? You heard? Bro, it'd be 5'2", five 5'2", two, five two cash. She in an excursion doing 60 down a one-way local street. You heard? Chicks be dangerous out here, my nigga. It'll run your ass over. Word. Chick be 5'1 in a Rubicon. Shit got 30 inch rims on that shit. Smashing into all type of bumpers trying to pull, trying to park that shit. Word. But now I know a couple of good female drivers, man. One of my old broads. One of my old broads, she drove her ass off. She was one of the motherfuckers that taught me how to drive. Know what I mean? Her whole style, her whole driving style was smooth. But some of y'all broads, man, I don't know. Some of y'all broads is just reckless, nigga. They just reckless. Alright, I'm putting in this heavy ass car seat right now, man. Shit is ridiculous, my nigga.
These motherfucking car seats, man. You know, these shits just get heavier and heavier by the year, nigga. Hold on, let me put this car seat in. Shits just get heavier and heavier by the year. Shits dumb heavy. Straight up, nigga. When you on your daddy game heavy, this shit becomes easy. Putting it in. When you... When you when you a novice with this shit, it take you long to put these car seats in. <laughs> nice like me, my dad my dad game is up, nigga. My dad game way up. I get these car seats in right now because I'm on live. Of course, shit is flopping on me right now. I'm trying to style off, but it's flopping on me right now. Seat belt is acting up or something, man. What the fuck is going on? Bro, what is going on? Oh, man. This is what happens when you brag on live, nigga. When you brag on live, shit flops. All right, now, we in there now. We in there. We in there, baby. So, y'all niggas... That time I was coming back from, where I was coming back from? I was coming back from something. Something kid related. And my motherfucking car, the last car that I had, that shit had so many problems. My motherfucking car, my car cut off in the middle of the highway, nigga. My car cut off in the middle of the highway, right? My shit was stuck in the middle of the highway waiting for my car to cool down so that I'd be able to start that shit again. I'm stuck in the middle of the motherfucking highway, my nigga. And an 18-wheeler came behind me and that shit had to jam on his brakes to not hit me. And I'm stuck in the middle of the motherfucking highway with my kid in the car seat, two of my kids. One of them mad young in the car seat. 18-wheeler screeching behind me to stop. I said, yo, you know what? I said, this is where the everything I love, nigga. I don't give a fuck. The minute I get some money, I am buying a brand new car. And I am never going through this shit again. You heard? And at the time, I didn't know, I was planning and plotting, but I was planning and plotting on some bullshit. But when that shit happened, and that 18 wheel almost hit us, and I was stuck in traffic with my kids on the highway over here, I said, nigga, when I get some money, I don't give a fuck. I'm getting a brand new motherfucking vehicle, and I'm putting my kids in something brand new. That ain't never gonna break down like this again, nigga. Period. And when I got my hands on a few laws, cause you know that shit only costs about seven thousand dollars to get in a brand new vehicle. Like realistically, like we could remove the, the the myths of vehicles. Like niggas out here stunting with big luxury vehicles, bro. That shit ain't nothing, son. You get somebody with some good ass credit, your bro, your moms, somebody with some good ass credit, my nigga. You get up about seven thousand dollars. 5,000 down and 2,000 to start your insurance policy up. Nigga, you on the road, nigga. You on the road in a 2022 something. And if you just getting something light like a Camry or a Cord, you only gonna need like 2,000 down. But I think my whip, all I had to put down was $5,000, my nigga. Put down $5,000 and motherfucking, uh, you start your insurance policy, which is gonna be like, you know, 1200 or some shit to start your policy because when you got an expensive vehicle they're gonna charge you a lot a lot more money to insure that shit you feel what i'm saying so you start your policy nigga you on the road son you stack up seven thousand dollars you on the motherfucking road all you got to do is make them payments and that insurance payment every month that's all you got to do so you see niggas in these streets with benzes and bmws and Audis. Niggas ain't rich, my nigga. A nigga got a lease. 
And the nigga got that car for three years, and after three years, he gonna go get another one. And then he's stunting on you. You like, oh, that nigga switching up. That nigga just had the black joint. Now he got the gray joint because it's a lease, my nigga. And he going to trade that shit after three years and get another one. You heard? And that's how you stay inside of a new, brand new luxury vehicle without spending a whole bunch of money, my nigga. But yeah, when I broke down that day on the, on the highway, I said, that's word of everything I love. The next money I get, I'm getting a fucking car. I don't give a fuck what I got to do. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what I got to do to get that shit. And I got that shit, my nigga. I kept my word to myself. I said, all right, I got my hands on a little couple of dollars. I said, nigga, I'm getting in a vehicle, nigga. I had people like, yo, you shouldn't do that. It's going to be mad money a month. Da -da -da. I'm telling you, you should get that. I'm like, man, fuck that, man. I'm in my mid-40s, nigga. What the fuck I'm waiting for? I'm gonna be 65 years old before I get the vehicle that I want, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm good. I ain't trying to be hopping out no mad luxury shit, 65 with a cane like this. Hey, shunny, put 25 on pump shicks. Like, nah, I'm good, my nigga. I need that shit now while I'm young and vibrant, nigga. Life short as a motherfucker. When I go and I go, I want niggas to know, yeah, that nigga gone, but when he was out here, he was pushing something crazy. Fuck that. And his kids is right. I wish I would let New York State steal nine years of my life, nigga. <coughs> and I'd be out here not living it up the right way, nigga. You crazy? I ain't gonna stop till I got a motherfucking penthouse in Midtown and a motherfucking house in the jury. Jersey suburbs. I'm not stopping. I need to live right, nigga. I grew up in the most poorest community in the motherfucking country, nigga. I need to live right. And then when you black, let me tell you something. When you black, people look down on you when you have, like, you know, fancy things and luxury things. They look down on you, my nigga, because even your own people, because, you know, people program to believe that when you're black, you're supposed to just settle for less. You understand? You from the hood. It's okay to settle for less. It's cool. It's like you're doing the right thing if you settle for less. If you, you know, if you do, if you get the less expensive shit, you're doing the right thing. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. I go to Upper Manhattan. I see 500,000 white niggas pulling up in luxury vehicles. Niggas ain't looking at them niggas like they irresponsible with money and they, and they materialistic. That shit look like a normal vehicle. That's his normal vehicle, but when one of us pull up in some luxury shit, niggas like, oh, my son is rich. My son blowing mad bread. Nah, my nigga. Actually, I'm not blowing mad bread. I'm saving bread. You understand what I'm saying? Actually, and uh, you know, we gotta stop making it a big ass deal when one of us is living normally. You understand what I'm saying? Like, nah, my nigga. That's racist. My phone about to die, so I had to come back to the slip knot. But yeah, let me stop beating y'all niggas in the head all day, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like I like them Grand Cherokees. A nigga around my way got a Grand Cherokee. That shit like the hottest Grand Cherokee I ever saw. Like, you got that shit white with the yellow stripe on that shit with the yellow rims. The yellow mag rims on that shit, white with the yellow rally stripe going through it. That shit look crazy. See, American cars, they look good with that rally stripes on it and spoilers and muscle shit. Like, that shit be looking crazy. Them new charges might drop. I seen the concept. I don't know if they're going to actually go out with that particular design, but I saw the concept design of the new charges that they got on the market for, for that they, I guess, waiting for approval or what. But I seen how the new charges look. Them shits is hard body. The front of them shits now, they look like a fucking, uh, them shits are like a, like a Benz or a BMW, the way they got the front of them shits now, like the front bumper. Them shits, the, the, they changed the front bumper. That shit look crazy. That shit look crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. So, you know, them new charges will be on the streets in a minute. King Sunrod was popping. 
South Shore was really good. Mustafa was populating. Dino Diggs, what up? LaVert Whitehead was popping. What you talk about garbage bags, my nigga? NYC Dagger, what up? BX Rich was really good. Queen Lotus was really Cardigan Shams was popping peace of the God on the earth. Flatbush was populating. Yeah, man. Darius Spires was popping. Jesus Crisis was really good. Postman 617 was popping. Boston in the building was really good. But yeah, man, that new episode drop at 4 o'clock. So if I'm not able to come back on live, I need y'all dudes to hit that bell and make sure y'all get that notification for that new motherfucking episode that's about to drop at 4 o'clock with the bro Charlie Rock LD, formerly of the Terror Squad. My son is going to speak about his fallout with Fat Joe and, you know, how he got stabbed in the eye and lost the eye in green. In Green Correctional Facility that you heard a whole bunch of stories about. We're going to hear about that. Son got some crazy Rikers Island gruesomeness to talk about. It's a lot of shit, bro. A lot of shit. So make sure y'all don't miss that episode at 4 o'clock because it's going to be epic. You heard? Make sure y'all leave a comment on my new story, the story of Pottersfield. You heard? Make sure y'all leave a comment. It's the newest episode that's out right now. Make sure y'all go check that, man. Because, you know, it's a lot of information in that. And I don't want to move on to part two until, you know, I know the people seen part one. Because it's going to get ugly. Yes. So, yeah, man. You know, my name Dry Lip Dre, man. So pardon me if my lips is white and dry. I don't be knowing sometimes I slip up. Then I go on live. I'll be like, damn, my lips was dumb white. Nigga, dry mouth, dry mouth Dre, man. All right, boom. Let me see how many views this shit got. Boom, bing, bong. Shit almost got 7,000 views. I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm happy with them 7,000 views, my nigga. In 24 hours, shit. Uh oh, let me see something. Did my nigga Ryder hit 100 racks today? Let's see. Did you hit 100 racks? Nah. What? Nah. I thought this shit was at 98 yesterday. Ryder, Ryder, one of Ryder's stories is at 97.5. It's about to hit 100,000. Might, might hit it today, might hit it tomorrow. But that's about to hit 100,000. His new shit. That shit is at 22,000 already. You heard? I see niggas live, leaving a comment on the Rider story. Niggas had me confused for a minute because I do got a, a Xbox in my shit. And sometimes I am fucking with my Xbox. But um, somebody left a comment like, yo, I hear you playing with controllers in the background. Nah, son, that's rain hitting the air conditioning, my nigga. I got an air conditioning in the office. It was raining. That shit was hitting. And then my ceiling started leaking while I was in the middle of the interview. Shit was dripping into my shit. I like, yo, son, hold on. I got to stop the interview. That means I live on the top floor of my building. I live in an old ass building. So when that shit start pouring like it's a real rainstorm, drop or two be coming in my motherfucking ceiling. But these niggas want $2,400 a month rent. You heard? So, you know, that's New York for you, nigga. Your ceiling be dripping, nigga. Still want $2,400 a month rent. You heard? So, boom. Yeah, y'all niggas was talking about, yo, I hear the controller now, son. You hear rain tapping on the a AC, bro. You heard? But if you do hear a controller, let me explain that. Sometimes, nigga, I play 80s games to relax. You heard? I play 80s games to relax. I ain't playing no complicated shit. I got to think and strategize. Sometimes I might just throw on a motherfucking Miss Pac-Man while I listen to a story because it helps me relax. And when I'm and when I'm recording a story, I really don't have the uh, the honor, the pleasure of really paying attention too much to the story. I got to pay attention to recording the story because if I get too caught up in the story and then I look over and the shit stop recording, I'm fucked. So while a nigga telling the story, I'm more concentrating on watching the audio 
come across the screen and the record button being moving and going because it's happened to me before where I'm all into the story. Word, son, what happened after that? Then I look over to the computer, shit, stop recording. You understand what I'm saying? Because of whatever, ran out of memory, whatever may happen to make this shit stop recording. I'm like, damn, son, hold on. Let me see what's the last thing you said. So I don't have the luxury of listening intensively to the story and enjoying the story until after I have the story recorded. Once I got the story recorded, then I go back and listen to the shit and edit it. You heard, but when I'm recording it, I'm half listening. Because if I don't pay attention to the recording, the my motherfucking recording program in my computer, I might lose the whole motherfucking story. So that's what's more important than anything. You heard? Once I got the story recorded, I'm like, Phew, glad I got that. Like other day I did a story and I'll never do this again. I did a story on my on my new recorder. I won't do that no more because it take too long to process and all that bullshit. And while that shit was recording, I was sweating like, damn, I'm not used to this, nigga. I'm used to seeing. I like to see the audio wave files going into the computer as the nigga's talking. I don't just like to see a red light. A red light, could I, that shit sound good. But I like to see the audio actually going into the computer. That's what relaxes me. So while I'm recording the video, I'm staring at the screen, watching your words get recorded. You feel what I'm saying? And then the shapes of the waveforms coming out, it relaxes me. I'm like, all right, that shit is recording. Boom. You know what I mean? Because a nigga like me, I got to listen to that story three, four times before it comes out. So I'm not in a rush to listen to the story too much because I know I'm going to have to listen to the shit three, four times anyway to edit the shit. You feel what I'm saying? So my job is to just make sure that shit is in the computer. You know what I mean? And I get it in. Yeah, that new L Famous is dropping in the next few days. You heard... I got some, I got heavy shit dropping in the next few days, man. Heavy, heavy, heavy machinery, man. Heavy machinery. That's a fliznack. Heavy machinery coming out, man. You know what I mean? And I'm looking to expand out there. So if you out there and you really want to do some groundbreaking shit, man, holla at me with some of that lawsuit money, man. Let's get it in, man. A lot of y'all niggas got quiet, quiet motherfucking uh, beat up by motherfucking police lawsuits, man. Niggas don't know. It be money in getting beat up by police, man. Niggas be getting pounded out by police, get a quick 50 racks. That's a movie right there, nigga. Yo, my shit is on live right now. What's happening? All right, I'm going to send it to you right now. Yeah, I, I've been on here for an hour and a half, so I got to roll out and take my kids to tennis and shit. So I'm about to get off in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but still come through, come through the building. All right. Yeah, man. I just thought of something. <laughs> A chick yesterday was mad because her car was being blocked in also. But even if your car wasn't being blocked in, you wouldn't have been able to move off the block anyway. Well, I guess you would have been able to back up out the block, so I understand. Damn, nigga. Oh, man. My memory is full on my motherfucking iPhone. That's why I never pays to get an iPhone that's 128 gigabytes, nigga. You might as well throw that shit in the garbage, nigga. In today's world, 128 gigs ain't doing nothing for me, nigga. I need 500. 128 gigs ain't doing nothing for me, nigga. I'll run through that shit in a week. You heard? I will run through that shit in a week. I need a phone. When I get my weight up, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a phone with a terabyte on that shit. Straight up. I need a TB on my shit, nigga. Now I mean when you got a terabyte, that's a thousand gigs. You ain't never gotta worry about um running out of memory or deleting shit. Cause I don't like to delete nothing, nigga. Even though that shit be backed up in Google Photos, Google Drive, I still don't be wanting to delete an episode out my phone, my nigga. I want that shit in there, nigga. You heard? So I need a I need a Terry De here, man. I'm gonna keep it real with you. 
I'm gonna need a Terry to hear on that. So, you know, when I get my, my real weight up, like a freight train, I'm gonna jump out the window and cop me a Galaxy with a terabyte on that shit, nigga. Straight up, nigga, ain't gotta worry about nothing. I got a thousand gigabytes to play with. I could film in 4K. So you need that terabyte when you wanna film in 4K. I can't wait to start filming in 4K. I could film in 4K now, but it take up too much memory. So I only could do shorts in 4K, one minute or something like that, or a music video. You know what I mean? <laughs> straight up now i love tennis man i want my daughters i want my daughters to start playing tennis man now i mean real talks i love fucking tennis i love tennis nigga i love women's tennis ain't no sport sexier in the world than women's tennis my nigga i'll be watching that shit all day long i don't really fuck with men's tennis but i fuck with women's tennis heavy now, i mean i love venus well i'm in love with venus williams i'm gonna keep it real with you baby I'm in love with Venus Williams. I don't give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? But it's all type of tennis players, nigga. They be having them skirts on. Shit be looking crazy. My nigga Saquon and Dawn in the building, man. Say less 67. When you see the bro Say Less 67, that's Saquon. Subscribe to his channel. Even though he don't got no videos up, subscribe to his channel. Because we going to drop a channel real soon, my nigga. All movie channel. You heard? So subscribe to that nigga Say Less 67. That's Saquon right there. If you need to get in touch with Saquon. Matter of fact, me and Saquon dropping that episode. That's a follow-up to that L Famous episode where he was talking about the shit that went down in Clinton. You understand what I'm saying? So now we getting another backstory about that whole incident on the episode that I'm about to drop now. You slurp? So, you know what I mean? Y'all niggas, make sure y'all check that new Saquon that's dropping. If not tomorrow, the next day after that. But hopefully tomorrow, if 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 YouTube do the right thing, like bug out and motherfucking, uh, bugging out and motherfucking uh, Sal's famous pizzeria. You heard? I love, I love Serena and Venus, man. I love them both, man. You know what I mean? But there's some new black sheriffs in town now. There's some new female black tennis players in town that look great, that look excellent, you heard? But I don't just be there for the black chicks, man. I be there for all the chicks, man. You know what I mean? Swedish, Switzerland, Japan. I'm there for all of them chicks and them good skirts, man. You heard? With them good legs. I'm a leg dude, man. When I see some good legs in action, I'm watching. You heard? But my nigga Saquon, you need to just change your name on here, YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do it, Lord. You need to change your name to Saquon. You heard? So niggas could know that that's you, man. We don't got no time for niggas to be playing guessing games on who niggas is. Niggas got to know that's you so they could just subscribe to your channel, my nigga. And the next time you come to New York, we're going to do something exclusive just for your channel. We're going to do, I don't care what it is, even if we just talking shit, bugging out. We're going to do something exclusive for your channel and upload that shit to your YouTube page so we can get niggas to subscribe so we can prepare for that movie game. You heard? That's going to be the name of my motherfucking movie films, nigga. Popcorn Gang Films. Something like that. You heard? Mr. Executioner was populated. My fault, man. You know, I be mad paranoid that my lips be dry, so I be having to lick my joints like LL every two minutes. You heard? Muhammad was popping Yonkers in the building was really good. I was through Yonkers the other day, man. I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. Yonkers, man. Yonkers, man. You know. I'm gonna tell you something about Yonkers, man. There's too many niggas that be on the block, my nigga. You heard like niggas be on the block in Yonkers like it's 80s, 88. Word. Like you drive through Yonkers on a Friday, Saturday night, nigga, you liable to see 65 niggas in front of the Chinese restaurant. Niggas playing dice, niggas is out there for no reason, 65 deep on the block. I don't understand it. You understand what I'm saying? Well, Y'all niggas think Yonkers is, is not New York or if you want to. You drive through Yonkers on a Friday, Saturday night and go through the hood. You liable to see what looks like a V 
video shoot in front of the Chinese restaurant. You be like, yo, niggas filming a movie out here? Nah, niggas is just out there, bro. A hundred deep on the block with 14 cars on the block. You understand what I'm saying? So that shit be looking crazy out there. Yeah, I be fucking with them Swedes and all of that, my nigga. Russians. I love I love women's tennis, man. Love it. I'm a groupie. Y'all niggas, don't be surprised if you see me two, three years from now. I'm running on the court getting the balls. You know they got the ball boy that run on the court and take the tennis balls? You might see me doing that shit, nigga. Be like, yo, that's that nigga Les? My shit like this. Grabbing the ball for Venus. Like, I mean, giving her a towel. That's how oh, I'm a tennis groupie, nigga. You know, Venus be wearing them brown underwear under her shit. That should be looking like she butt ass naked. That shit be fucking with a nigga soul. You heard? I'm a funny nigga. I be knowing the tennis players by how good they look. Oh, I be like, oh, that's a, um, that's a, uh, pack of fova. That's pack of fova from, uh, such and such. I know who that is. I know her cause her motherfucking ass is crazy. Her legs is crazy. Heard I'll be like, nah, yeah. I'll be debating with tennis people, like, oh, you talking about uh Karen uh with you talking about Karen Slock of Over? No doubt. Yeah. Like her serve is great. I'm like, yeah, her serve is great, all right. That ass is great. I'm just keeping it a hundred. That's a sexy ass sport, nigga. That's the most sexy. The only is another the, the next sport, women's sport that's sexy after that is volleyball. Oh my god. My wife used to play volleyball. Yeah, my wife got the big stupid. My wife got the missiles, man. That's all I'm saying. You heard? So I can imagine when she was playing volleyball. You know, them shits be bouncing. Volleyball is serious, nigga. Heard? I be watching that volleyball when that shit come around. Summer Olympics? Listen. Chicks be bouncing. You know what I mean? But um, volleyball is some shit, though. I love volleyball. Word is bonbons. Yeah, I fuck with all of that. Track and field. Today, that episode of Charlie Rock, man. My bro, Charlie Rock, LD. New episode with that nigga talking about how he got stabbed in his eye in green. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's ugly. And we talking 88 and 89 on Rikers Island. We talking how niggas was giving it up in 88 and 89 on Rikers Island. Bronx war was, was, was Bronx and Brooklyn war was kind of in effect already. You feel what I'm saying? So son is talking about Rikers Island and 88 and 89 he talking about going to green getting stabbed in his eye over fat joe and and, and and 50 cent confrontation you feel what i'm saying so it's going to be a real serious gruesome episode man you know what i mean y'all niggas make sure y'all tune in you know tomorrow i got that new saquon dropping you know what i mean inshallah if you two do the right thing like uh if YouTube do the right thing, like uh, the mayor, you know what I mean? If YouTube do the right thing, like the mayor and motherfucking Ruby D, we in effect with that new Saquon tomorrow. You feel what I'm saying? We in effect with that. You know what I mean? We got new T-Bone Blast dropping. I got exclusive pictures of Big Pun. Fat Joe and them niggas on the visit Seeing Charlie Rock You feel what I'm saying Exclusive shit Lord Exclusive shit Lord My fault I'm reading y'all dudes comments and shit You know what I mean I'm reading y'all vomits But um yeah, that new episode is dropping at 4 o'clock, man. So, you know, I might not be able to be on live right before it drop, but just know, you understand what I'm saying? That joint is dropping at 4 cash. You feel what I'm saying? They don't they don't let the GDs in the door was populating my broski. Yeah, that 
that joint going to be hard, man. The joint going to be hard. Black Beats was popping. But, um, yeah, I'm about to get up out of here in a minute, man. Know what I mean? So I'll check back in with y'all dudes, man. I got to finish editing this motherfucking Saquon joint. I'm almost finished with that. You know what I mean? I'm already finished with the edit, with the audio part. Now I'm doing the video part. Drop that new C. Know what I mean? Drop that new Sha Diablo out here. You feel what I'm saying? And, um... I've been dropping heat all week long, my nigga. And you know, when I say all week, I'm talking about Saturday and Sundays too. Like, I ain't, we ain't just doing weekdays, my nigga. I mean, niggas call me Amazon Prime, my nigga. I deliver all, every day out the week, you heard? That's my new AKA, Amazon Prime. You heard? Shout out to my nigga Prime from Flatbush too. I mean, where was Prime from? Prime was from Flatbush too, man. My nigga Prime from Flatbush. Know what I mean? And um, shout out to my nigga motherfucking um, my nigga Point from Flatbush, man. I hope my son is alive and well, man. If you from Flatbush out there and you know my nigga Point that used to have the waves with the gold front in his mouth, know what I mean? Tell that boy to holla at me, man. That's my fucking nigga, man. I hope son is free and I hope son is alive, man. Real talk, man. If you from Flatbush and you know my nigga Point, Point probably like 55 right now. Point probably like 55 right now, something like that. If you know my nigga Point, man, with the waves and the gold fronts from Flatbush, man, tell my God to holla at me, man. That's my bro, man. Yeah, my nigga. Everybody talking that Sha Diablo shit. I forgot about that name, too. I forgot that was the... I forgot about shit type hard. Heard? That shit type hard. You know I'm an ignorant nigga. I can't I can't re I can't resist I can't resist a hot street name. If a nigga got a hot street name, forget about it. I done I done gave countless niggas names in the streets and in the penitentiary, my nigga. Countless niggas. I just can't help it. Word up. Black Play 456 was populating, my bro. My fault. I'm fucking up pressing shit. But, yo, that's the real Lloyd Banks in the motherfucking in the, in the room. If that's the real Lloyd Banks, salute, my nigga. I think it is, too, because I just looked at Sun Page. That shit had a mil 400,000 subscribers. So if that's the official Lloyd Banks... Up in the spot, salute, bro. You need to give me a story, my nigga. I know you. I need that story on how you got shot, bro. I need that story on how you got shot by accident or in the crossfire back in the days in Queens, my nigga. Now, I mean, the viewers need the details behind that shit, bro. Now, I mean, so holla at me on Instagram if you if you find it in your heart to toss a nigga, toss a nigga a jewel like that. You heard? But shout out to the bro. Lloyd Banks in the motherfucking building. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the bro. You heard? Make sure y'all go subscribe to the bro Lloyd Banks because he definitely a New York legend and one of the greatest spitters in New York history. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure y'all niggas subscribe. You heard? But yeah, Lloyd Banks, man. We need that story on how you got shot, my nigga. That shit is exclusive. You know, I started a new series... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, called Killer Queens. Got my nigga Everlast on there from Left Rack City. Now, I mean, son was facing a death penalty in NC. He got a crazy life story. But I'm doing a special series for Queens called Killer Queens, where I'm just going, I'm trying to collect the most exclusive Queen stories I possibly could collect. You feel me? So if you from Queens out there, like Lloyd Banks, and you got them exclusive South Jamaica, Left Rack City, Corona, anywhere in Queens, Far Rockaway. Holla, man, so we can start this series and get this shit popping, my niggas. J.R. Hernandez, what's popping? M.A.Z., what's really good? Yes, sir. Hey, y'all niggas, make sure y'all subscribe to the Bro Fruit Corn channel. Fruit Corn moving out here. Subscribe to the Bro Fruit Corn channel. Subscribe to the Bro L Famous channel. Subscribe to my nigga T Bone Blast channel, Browns Villain. 
We just moving and winning out here, my nigga. I'm keeping it real. We starting the motherfucking network out here. And we just going to win. And we going to win it. And that's a fact. And it ain't never going to stop. We going to keep doing it. And it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? And as y'all can see, man, we, we got real serious celebrities and legends that be watching the channel, man, religiously. Shout out to the, my nigga Briggs Avelli, Brown's villain. The nigga Shannon Briggs, my nigga Briggs Avelli, the Don. Shout out to my nigga Fat Man Scoop. Shout out to the nigga Michael Rappaport. We got some heavy hitters that be watching the channel, my nigga. Niggas that subscribe to the channel. We got heavy hitters and celebrities that subscribe to the channel, man, because we be doing our thing over here. We work for real. We ain't cutting no corners. We really work it. Yerk. Jamel Diaz. What's poppin'? Yo, what's taking these niggas so long? Hold on, man. Yo, what's sloppin'? I'm downstairs, man. I ain't trying to be black and late. You heard? Let's get up out of here. I'm tired of being black and late, man. I'm tired of being the black niggas that show up late with an excuse. You know what I mean? Niggas be black and late, man. Bad enough. My shit got my daughter to school late like 30 times this year, last year. Or this year. She the one of the only black kids in her school. We showing up late like this. Black and late. Excuse me. Sorry, we're black and late. And there's one black lady who work at the front door. She be giving us the look like. That nigga's always making us look bad, man. Y'all be late. See my shout out to my nigga Bucker. That nigga's different. That nigga that nigga gotta be to work at four o'clock. I caught that nigga leaving his house yesterday at 350, nigga. I said, son, what the fuck? He said, yeah, so I'm running a little late. I said, nah, nigga, you're not running a little late. It's 350. You gotta be to work at four cash. That nigga start laughing. He like, yo, I said that in my rhyme. I said, yo. I'm always late. I hope for my death. Some shit like that. But yo, that nigga broke the record. That nigga got to be to work at four o'clock. That nigga was strolling out his house at 3.50. Going to the train station. I said, damn, son. Your level of ignorance is supreme. You understand? You must make another child to make sure those genetics live on the planet Earth longer, nigga. Because your black ignorance is, is legendary. Nigga walking out the crib at 350 cash. Somebody calling me from Alabama. I gotta get the, I gotta get back at you, Lord. I hate missing phone calls because that could be a million dollars. But I'm on live running my mouth, man. Once I start running my mouth, you know what I mean? It's hard for me to, you know. Man here bugging out with niggas. What if I would have went offline? A nigga like Lloyd Banks, I would have never knew that. If I would have signed off 15 minutes ago. But yeah, my niggas, man. We moving out here. New episode dropping at 4 o'clock. Charlie Rock LD talking about how he got stabbed in his eye in green. If you got a weak stomach, you might want to skip this episode. I'm just keeping it real. You heard? If you got a weak stomach, you might want to skip this episode. But um, it's dropping at 4 o'clock. Make sure y'all dudes tune in. I'll be in the premiere on the chat. Now I mean, and we schmoving. You heard? Gen Pop Gang in the building, LAZ. Kid with the sleeve shackle tat. You know what I mean? 3D shit. My shit official, nigga. Tattoo gang was popping. But yo, holla at me, man. Comment gang, get ready for four o'clock. You heard? Dry mouth Dre, I'm out.